This is Mass Huntress. Mass Huntress from Foggy. Kinda hidden. Archmage. Boots go to the Archmage. Huge move for email fans so he can run away from the Arch uh, from the uh, Demon Hunter. But this is the best thing that email fan can do. Buy time by attacking. Attack. attack seems to be the best defense sometimes. And without immolation there is no... Uh, area of effect, he has to get rid of them one by one, that's what he's trying to do until... Oh nice, Ancient Protector as well! I told you, Foggy is one of the most creative players out there. One peasant already down, but he has to take care of his main base as well, otherwise he will be supply stuck. Mass repair coming in, maybe it's too late! I uh, can't hold this moon well! He cannot hold this moon well, he goes down and Foggy is losing the so important moon will to his opponent. He's supply stuck, trying to get the Archmage now, but let me remember you, he has the boots of speed, he has increased movement speed, so he can't get rid of this email fan. Sock scouting the engine protector, huge move from the Korean. And all that Foggy has is two Huntress, and then he's stuck. He builds another Moonwell here, he might build a second Moonwell here as well, just to release the pressure. More experience for the Demon Hunter, since uh, three Huntress attack. are here already. This expansion is key to victory for Email Fan now. If he loses too many workers, this game is basically over. But how much pressure can he apply with only three Huntress? while he has to defend at the same time. These are the questions that we have to ask and these are the questions that will be answered in five to ten minutes. Here we go, Demon Hunter into the passive line. How much can he kill? Yeah, here comes the addition of the Huntress. Bouncing Glaives, area of effect damage he has now, which is pretty damn great. First passive down... Yeah, there he is. And he got rid of the first tower as well. So this harass um, goes pretty good. But email Sock scouted the moon well, so he knows what's going on. And he sees more pressure is coming. I need guard towers against this Huntress play. The town is under Shadow Melt being used, and there's a lot of lost HP on the units of Sock. Demon Hunter back at full HP, so he can continue the harass. Archmage still low. But he, oh, he woke up the creeps with the Huntress, damaging the footman. He might lose two of them. Oh boy. this These are huge losses. He can't afford them at the moment. I think both of them got denied by the creeps, but still. This is great. This is great for the Ukrainian. 20 years old or 21, I'm not too sure. But very, 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 very young. Next to Foggy and Warchief, the youngest player in the scene. Can email fan, can sock. Hold this. Doesn't look too good. Doesn't look too good. He tries to repair this guard tower. If this one comes up, will be a lot easier for him but it doesn't look like it lots of repair coming and the damage of the water elemental is too high he has to cancel this so the guard tower is up attack. huge move huge 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 move in defending this a town is under siege demon hunter with the boots of speed of his own now trying to chase the archmage but still 200 HP left. Everything is all over the place. Multitasking is needed. Harass here, chasing here, repairing here. <laughs> all the over the place. But he can't really accomplish anything at the moment, I feel. I mean, he shows presence, but that's about it. And now. The Huntress play is over. He's taking two tier two. Town is under Sock siege. got what he wanted. He wanted that expo. It cost him a shitload. But in the end he got it. He has a stable expansion. He has a second gold mine. And that's it. 
Archmage is trying to continue the harass. He's trying to chase the Archmage even further, but there's still a town portal. So we will see dryads and bears. Wow, this is all of a sudden a lot of hunters. <laughs> Can he get rid of the barracks? I guess so. He can't really repair against this because of the bouncing blades. They will always hit the repairing units. And without riflemen, holding this is hard. Bring up protection for the Archmage. But the Drake, I don't think he will get it in time. Barracks, gone. No more riflemen. And all of a sudden this game has turned again. Demon Hunter, healing up a bit, chasing the Archmage. It's like a time lapse. So no production facility at the moment for Sock. He will be on tier 2 attack. in a short amount of time. But then, but then. He has one rifleman and five footmen, that's his army. Foggy is getting ready for the counter expansion. Pendant of energy would be awesome. Claws plus nine would be awesome. Pendant of energy it is. So... Every second hero will profit from that. Nice cancel of the healing. He always keeps tabs of his opponent and Sock really Our tries to play this with Rifleman. I think usually you want them as a transition once, well, until you have mod teams. But he's rebuilding the barracks. He knows, okay, my opponent has so many units. I need this now. I need at least the chance to get the units out. Another pick off by Foggy. A town is under siege. And he scouts this. Oh, this could be horrible for Sock. Is the damage enough? Yes, it is. The Sanctum can survive, maybe. Yes, it will. Blood Mage second against the Panda. Counter expansion is coming. Slippers the and Pandan, the perfect drops. For Foggy at the natural. And email fan has to be so passive. He cannot. Oh, the Archmage picks up both items! Are you kidding me? What a waste! What a waste! He cannot protect. Uh, he cannot uh, kill the expansion and he loses so much. Just look at this. He's trying to block with the Archmage with two, work, uh, two footmen down. Can he kill it? Archmage! Archmage! Town portals! Ah, uh, the damage is not enough! <laughs> One more volley and that would have been it. But so, the expansion stays alive. He's out of range of the gold mine, so he has to uproot again. What a game already. But now it's time for Sock to shine. He has the Sanctum. Psst. He has the workshop. Caster Mortars coming. On the other side. Entangled Gold Mine. Dryads. What about tier 3? No tier 3 tech yet. Potion of Greater Mana. If you can't have the Pendant of Energy, then okay, come on, have that one. It's gonna be hard. I think Email Fan is through the worst, but he's definitely not being close A to being. Uh, no, it's, are under he's not close to being safe. Black Mage still level one. Does he want to tower the expansion? Question mark. Foggy always knows what's going on. But there's a mortal team. This is where things get dangerous. 
for the Night Elf. And he did not start tier 3 yet. He doesn't have the gold for it. He can dispel. He has a ton of blockers. But bears are key to victory. This game requires so much multitasking. Wow. The inventory of the panda is legendary. But of course... Wow, Foggy is at 61. Is Email fan, 70. He gets rid of... Uh, will he? Foggy flanks in from the north. Blood Mage already sipping some mana, I guess. But here comes the panda. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire hitting something. It is level two, uh, level three already. But he, of course he wants to get rid of the mortar teams as fast as possible. There are no bears. Let me remind you of that. Militia coming in to support this. Panda and Brewmaster being sipping mana. But the Breath of Fire is hitting so mad, uh, so much. Scroll of Healing being used. One invul potion left and some towers. That's about it. The Dryads have to uh, run away from all the shots of the mortar teams. He can't not get rid of them. Another combo and another other time that he cuts the HP in half of the entire human army but at the same time the Huntress are dying left right and center thanks to the siege damage and the piercing damage that is provided by riflemen and mortar teams everything is super duper low but for both armies actually oh but Sock he's looking so strong he saved his units once again another breath of fire but that's about it that's all he can do banish no follow-up obviously but Staffing out now. Foggy lost his entire Huntress army. Of course, they are pretty useless in the later stages, but you don't want to feed it to your opponents. And he still did not tech to tier 3. I don't get that decision. I have no idea why he's doing that. And with the help of the fountain, he should be... Okay, it's daytime, so he can't really do it. There's a lot of potential for the panda to grill these units. The numbers definitely speak in favor of Sock. But once he catches them off guard, there's only one breaker. And of course the Blood Mage he has to be aware of. Level almost 5 on the Demon Hunter, level almost 4. So the hero advantage definitely here at Foggy's side. That was fire, was good as well. The banish comes too late, but nice if and mana again. He tries to run out of that, but takes some time. Mortar teams. Mortar teams everywhere against an army of sheer dryads. Here comes the siege with tower support. This is a bad position for Foggy. Once again Sif and Mana, once again Breath of Fire, but for how long? He has no mana anymore, no mana potion, nothing. Nice banish on the Demon Hunter to get the damage out of the equation. Level 4 on the Archmage, level 2 Brilliance Aura. GG by Foggy! He can't do that without mana. There was hope in the fight with mana. There, all hope is lost if you get sucked dry. An email fan, what a performance getting that expo through. Maybe it was the wrong decision to go for mana burn that early. Maybe evasion could have won him the game, could have destroyed the expansion. But afterwards, he defended this so well against a huge amount of, uh, of Huntress. Won that fight with ease once the Riflemen and Mortar Teams were there. So it's 1-0 for Korea here. Speaking of Korea... There's gonna be a clan war tomorrow, 12 CET. It's gonna be Korea versus China. It is uh, Remind, Check, Focus, and Lucifer playing 120, Yumiko, Xiao KK, and Colorful. We will stream this here. You can find all the information at Reddit, uh, reddit.com slash r slash wc3. Here is the link in the scrolling text. <clears throat> and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cast that. And that's gonna be good. It's gonna be really, really good. I hope I can join uh, the NetEase games. Since I have some problems since the patch. But we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Hmm. So next map is Echo Isles.
I know he was level 2 when he skilled mana burn, but I think going for immolation and evasion would have been the better choice. That's what I mean. And here we go. Map number 2. Echo Isles. The colors remain the same. Let me swap that real quick. Here we go. In the upper left, it's foggy. Trying to go for a Mass Huntress tower push that failed. Got er uh, scouted very early and the reaction of Email Fan was superb. What can he do now? I assume a longer game. I assume a Warden game. I assume a double expansion game. But this would be the standard case. Foggy is far, far, far away from being standard. So let's see. So let's see. It is a warden. Foggy plays her a lot. I'm not too sure on what level. I'm not too sure in which style he plays the warden. But we're about to find out. It is the Archmage, the hero of choice for email fan, uh, for Sock. Still trying to get that email fan name out of my uh, head. And he's not opening with Huntress, of course. The ping, well, is it? Uh, pretty good. A town pretty is damn siege. good for both players, actually. So, here's a peasant, and yeah, two wisps, one of them will become an expansion, I'm pretty sure about that. A player's forces are under attack. Archmage is here, no fast build, and he started uh, the script spot here. So, email fan is going for the same spot, most likely, no, immediately going for the expansion. Alright, you can do that. It's risky, but you can do that. Oh, email fan stole the Shadow Priest. So nice. I keep... Oh, he lost his Engine of War! Foggy is completely overwhelmed here. Focusing on too many things and losing the Engine of War. Awesome play by email fan so far. Pulling the creeps again and again towards the Engine of War. Stealing the Shadow Priest. So no dispel for water elementals, no healing that is. And in the meantime, he has all the time in the world to get the expo up. Oh, 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 oh. And he stole a creep as well. <laughs> At least it is level 2 for Foggy. We saw the shadow strike. He will save the second skill point in case he needs a blink. A player's forces are under attack. And once again, is he going for the... I don't get this. Huntress Hall, second... Okay, it's it's the one... It's, it's the first engine of war again. Because he lost <coughs> the initial one. But still, this is such a huge investment. This is such a delay to tier 2. And email fan just has it on point, man. He knows the timing. Inside are out. And he sees the Hunter's Hall. He knows what's coming. And the Warden is a little too late. The right clicks will be mighty though. Oh! Fan of Knives! No blink. And that's a very early decision to go for Fan of Knives. Killing two workers is definitely worth it though. And Sock. Okay, he did not get this one. I was just uh, wondering if he could get the second Merc as well. But the expo is up. There is no tower yet, but there will be. And the warden, of a course, that's what she does. Trying to harass, but without mana, it's so hard. A town is under siege. And there's no tech. There's no tech. No expansion, no tech. This is looking pretty bad for Foggy right from the start. Losing the engine of war at that creep spot is most likely the worst thing that can happen. A player's forces are under attack. He 
because basic yeah obviously you can't start unit production and you have to wait for that more right clicks from foggy but he's not killing too much he's not killing too much he's just annoyed and here comes mass repair this is cost this costs so much but he needs to keep the moon wells alive and more difficult he needs to get the moon wells up but with the Archmage, with a Brilliant Zora, he can constantly spam Walk Elementals. Oh, this is devastating. This is so devastating. He's trying to go for the expansion now. But being supply blocked, you only have two Huntress. You know. Oh, that was a nice fan of knives. He needs to capitalize now. He needs to kill all three workers. First one down, second one down. Okay, Foggy is... A little stabilizing here, at least slowing email fan down. Who still did not start his tech. That's a good thing. For Foggy. But he scouts it. Is the damage enough? Oh oh. Oh oh, this doesn't look too good. Warden staffing in. in, in oh, oh 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 wow, the warden is super low! 100 HP only, but he focuses completely on the Tree of Eternity. Now switching to the Warden! 15 HP. 15 HP, but that means the Expo is gonna get through. That risk of losing the Warden, which did not happen, saves his expansion and might save him the game. But of course it opens up a timing window for Sock to get siege. his Expo safer. Two towers. Oh, sorry, I got the score wrong. Players' forces are under attack, and it's a level three and a half warden already. Sonic says it's GG. I don't think so. The level advantage is definitely a thing, but yeah, he didn't finish this creep spot, <laughs> so it's basically very, very close to level four. And there's no blink. Almost a surround. Almost a surround. Three more shots, but he won't get it. A player's forces are under attack. Email fan is teching before Foggy does. Mass marks. Eminem, Mauler and Muddy. The two brothers in arms. Trying to defend this upcoming expansion. But yeah, usually the Night Elf is faster in tech. Usually the human player has to come up and is pressured. To have the mortar teams ready when the bears appear, but this time it's all different. This time the human dictates the speed of the game. A player's forces are under Boots attack. again, heal scroll. Nice against the fan of knives, even in the early stages. Warden is coming in again. Very, very. Oh, this is level four. This is level two fan of knives. Oh, it was before. This is level two shadow strike now. Maybe he skills blink. Since he won't use the shadow strike anymore, why not go for blink? No, he goes for Shadow Strike. And here we go. Full mana. Oh! Oh, heal scroll. Imagine Sock not buying that heal scroll. Everything would have died. Forces are under attack. But so Email Fan is still in the game. I think you limit the potential of the Warden when you won't let her use Blink. So, at some point of the game, you have to go for the Tomb of Retraining, even if it costs a lot. I think uh, no one but Lawlight has figured this out. Or maybe I'm just wrong. Slot Machine creep spot for Sock. He needs the Tomb of Experience very, very bad, but he catches another Shadow Strike. Fan of Knives. In addition to that, he blocks himself. Right clicks from the one. He's still blocking himself. And the damage take Archmage down. Oh boy. Foggy is losing something here in return. But the most important thing is getting rid of the Archmage. Won't let him get um, level 2 water elementals. And Foggy, so close to being level 3, stealing this entire creep spot from email from Sock. And he can just go ham in the passant line now okay now he has no mana but he can cancel the blacksmith and without blacksmith no rifleman no more teams no nothing he started his tech 
And he's going for glaive throwers. He wants to end this now. He wants to end this now. Engine of War, the second one. Oh, he can produce. Sock can produce a few riflemen, but he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. Oh, good thing he started the workshop. And one rifleman at least. So he got something out of this blacksmith. This is looking very, very good for the Ukrainian. Look at this level 5 shop gone. And he can just reign supreme over the workers with all that area of effect. There is no mana anymore in that warden, but I guess the hunters make up for it. Now that the guard tower is down, he has nothing to fear. Archmage is back though, Blood Mage is coming. Can email fan turn this game around? He needs all the experience in the world. That's why he spares the units. But the expo is basically cancelled. The expo is basically down. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh, yeah, that expo is gone and Foggy's expo is up. He gets Warple Blades and the Glaive Throwers. He wants to end this as soon as possible. Uh, don't let the Blood Mage ruin this game for you, but look, it's basically level 6. It's basically level 6 on the Warden against a level 2 and 2 thirds Archmage. Holy Christ. But without mana! And against mortar teams, it's not that easy. Town portal out to save the hunters. Do not feed them to the archmage. But how does he ever want to come back from this? As great as Sock defended on map 1, as horrible was this. He lost it all. Town is under siege. One heal scroll, that's it. But the mortar teams. Don't underestimate the water, uh, the, the mortar teams. But he has only level one water elementals. He needs to creep something, and he needs to do it fast. A player's forces are under attack. The unit combo will be a lot better for the Koreans. So it's not that the game is entirely over. It heavily favors Foggy. It's gonna be super hard to come back from this. But it's not over. Scroll the beast. There's no dispeller yet, but it will be in a few seconds. Foggy's unit composition is so weird. Huntress, Glaive Throwers, and now Dryads. Nothing in the store except one invul potion, but I guess you won't need that. Did the warden go for a tomorrow for training? Nope. Still no blink. A player's forces are under attack. <sighs> Suck is starting to steal creep spots. With more teams, that's easy. Level 2 on the Blood Mage, so we have Banish available. <clears throat> or Flame Strike? No, he goes for Banish. What? Is this, is, is this a tower push now? <laughs> uh, he invests it all, I guess. Got the heal scroll. Got two of them. There's a lumber mill, so yeah. 50 food versus 70, but this is desperation. 
This is one Hail Mary. Tower pushing against five, six Glaive Throwers. Not the smartest of all ideas, I might say. Everything is splattering. Just vo one volley is enough. One volley is enough. Just Avatar of Vengeance, of course, in addition to that. An email fan can just can't just give it away. This game will not do anything good to him. He's slowing down the warden, so fan of knives is not that great, but you see the glaive throwers doing the damage here. They're so fast. Foggy stabilizing after the early engine of war loss a player's force is a big play. Attack. He was fat, but it was a big play. Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to go for the heroes now. I mean, it's ridiculous. 80 food versus 44. Come on, have some fun. Enjoy the splattering through the Warpool Glaives. Scroll of the Beast being used as another desperate move, but the monster is out of position. He doesn't really fight anymore, man. What can he do? Level 7 on the Warden. So many spirits. So many corpses to get new spirits from. Unlimited mana. Still in there. I mean, Foggy is going for tier three for the third expansion here. You can see it. I think once the Archmage is dead, and that is most likely in a few seconds. A player's forces are under attack. And that's basically the game. I mean, one zero upgrade here. Seven seven, and that's it. It's GG. The game was longer than it had to be. But, wow, Foggy coming back from this early game. Sha-po. We have a new subscription. Thank you, Cidrian, boosting our numbers to 33 subscribers at the moment. Thank you very much. Game 3 is coming. That was the equalizer for Foggy. And so this is down to a normal best of 3 again. Whoever wins two maps first will leave this cup. The winner, the champion of Jera Cup. The game is up. Tarina stand it is. Another warden map. Another map to shine. Another map with a risky first expansion creep. If you go for the natural. But we'll see about that. I'm getting really tired. Sorry. Or exhausted or whatever you want to call it. Of course, if you want to support this scene, you can do that. We are building uh, Warcraft 3 Wiki at Liquipedia to get some exposure at Team Liquid and to just gather all the knowledge we have. So if you want to contribute by um, posting past tournaments, gather the results, make them nice, and post them, or um, some guides how to play human versus night elf, what uh, what options do you have, stuff like that. If you're interested, drop me a mail back to warcraft@gmail.com, or if you can do, uh, if you're interested in running our, I don't know, social media, helping out there, or uh, get some ideas how to improve this channel, some feedback for our casting. Mails are the best. Um, back to warcraft at gmail.com. If you're familiar with acquiring sponsors, that would be nice. If you have some uh, management skills or whatever. Sponsors, of course. We want, or it's my dream, to have a Warcraft 3 Home Story Cup. And for that, uh, we can't raise that money alone, not even through a Kickstarter. Uh, we need a five-figure sum, 
but maybe someone can do the magic. Maybe some of you out there is super skilled, has some time, and can invest it. Just drop me a mail if you want to help. Uh, otherwise, you help the scene by playing at War3 Arena, w3arena.net. Um, and <clears throat> what's that? Get a highlight here. Okay, nothing important. And uh, of course, contribute to the scene um, with comments and upvotes or downvotes at uh, wc3.reddit.com. All the info is out there if you want to know something about ongoing tournaments, if you want to know. Uh, what weekly cups are out there, if you want to know what are the upcoming tournaments, everything is at Reddit. Uh, you just need to go there. Whoa! Hera dears, thank you very much. 20 bucks, so our goal of today is accomplished. His message is, hello, and I say, hello, Mr. Hera. Very, very nice of you. Oh, uh, some people don't know what the Home Story Cup is. I imagine the lands back then when we all had uh, no TFT monitors or whatever, no uh, small monitors, but the big ones. Um, and we were gathering with friends in their cellars to play throughout the entire night. Take the former Warcraft 3 Pro and caster and all that. He is basically a gaming house where he hosts tournaments. The players get invited there and they spend the entire day there. They play the tournament, they play fun maps, they can play poker, um, you can watch them eat or whatever, just hang out to get the feeling of, uh, of a private land. So that would be the ideal case. Love what you're doing, man. Great to see Walker 3 still breathing. Really, thanks for the stream. Rosia, uh, what is it? Rosla, you're welcome. I enjoy this as much as you do, but what I do enjoy more than talking over uh, about the scene is casting, and that's it. Um, I have to swap it. Oh, Foggy is in blue this time. All right. So it's just the colors that changed. Foggy as a night elf in the upper left, starting here um, in blue this time. Sock in red as the human player. Both players won a map. And so uh, it's 1 1. It's down to a new best of three. Tarina stand the first of those maps. What do we have left? Turtle Rock, but I think it's vetoed. Last Refuge, Amazonia, and. Uh, Ancient Isles. <clears throat> Thousand four hundred viewers, wow. Woohoo! And that next to Todd and next to yours. It's just a blessing to have you here on this channel, guys. Warden first! Warden first, we can expect some more fan of knives. Uh, blink ho hopefully some blinking action here uh, because I personally think the warden really shines if you play Shadow Strike with blink or Fan of Knives with blink. Um, Shadow Strike and Fan of Knives is not 100% the warden play. <laughs> 1300 view bots, yeah of course. Of course. We got more than 100 new followers today, that's bonkers. And Melina has subscribed as well. Thank you very, very much. A player's forces are under attack. 34 it is. Awesome. Awesome. I think we can get some new emoticons. Awesome. So it is the Warden. What will we see here? It's once again the Archmage. Creeping to level 3 is possible here. Foggy started this creep already. Um, oh, will he deny it? No. Right, Foggy has it down with his engine of war. Warden dropping out, killing the passant. What a uh, fast first blood here. 
so yeah, he has to be careful to not lose the engine of war here. The ring of protection is not the ideal um, first drop, but whatever. Level 2 for the warden immediately, and catching up with this also very easy. Archmage level 2 as well, he found the ring of protection, not the worst thing against the warden. And the Huntress Hall again, very early. Mm. This map is slightly different, because I don't really know what Emil Fan is going for. Or maybe, yeah, expansion in the attack. upper right seems to be the case. Town is under oh. Merc can creep. So if he's going for the expansion, that will be late. But of course, having mercenaries by your side is always a great addition, especially if Foggy is going for hunters as well. Uh, again. But no. He's tacking this time very early, so I don't really see the value of an early hunter's oil, but of course he can add more pressure thanks to the bouncing glaives. Oh, a little too late for that shadow strike. Big potion of greater mana. That is so nice. That is such a nice addition to the Archmage. Almost level 3. Email fan so far. Great early game. Um, the mercenaries did not get stolen by Foggy. He got the Berserker, which is one of the most important units against the Huntress that are coming because he has a Huntress Hall. And there you see it. And yeah, Foggy was not able to deny some creeps, to deny the Mercs. That's pretty nice. Good, 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 good opening of this game. Good early game for Sock. A town is under siege. Reveal being used to get rid of this archer. And there we go. Level 3 on the Archmage. This is so important. Level 2 water elementals against uh, the Huntress. <laughs> and Sonic again with a bold prediction very very early on. He's going for that expo. This time it's a very fast tag um, by Foggy. Shadow Strike again on this. Oh, and again he's going for Shadow Strike and Fan of Knives. It's a oh, nice deny by email fans. So good. He played some Dota and here we go again denying all the experience and that's one of the most important things against the Warden. Once she hits level 3 she's so Crazy dangerous, but not here, not on Tarina's stand, not against the Dota skills of Sock. Of so far, this is a perfect game for him, I guess. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So, no counter expansion yet, but he is on tier 2. I mentioned this very, very fast. So, very fast dryads. Will he go into tier 3 then? I think so. I think he has to. With bears, this uh, his life is gonna be so much easier. And the Orb of Venom and stuff like that. We didn't see a single staff of Sanctuary in these games. Foggy well, continuing to harass and there's a good opportunity to kill a lot of workers. He's blocking them all. Oh, genius move by Foggy. He's killing all the workers. They are all dead. And that's... Uh, that's it for the perfect game. <laughs> this delays the expansion by so much. And now he gets aid. Now he gets help with a, with a shredder. He can deal with those footmen. He has fan off knives. Oh shit. One down. How much more can he kill? Oh, that's only one. That was a nice reaction by email fan. But look how crazy the warden can level now with the experience boost on level 2. Almost level 4. And the ex this game has turned around in one minute. <laughs> this series is awesome. Um, yeah. The expo is basically gone. Can he kill it in time before the peasants arrive? Ah, it's a close call. It's a very close call. If this expansion dies, the game is basically over. It's up, but he can't hold it, I guess. The bouncing glaives against the repairing workers is just too much. Town portal now. 
He really wants to save this. And he succeeds. He keeps it alive. Holy shit. So all of a sudden... This game turned from... Oh, Emil Fan is gonna win this with ease into... What? Foggy is back into this game and he will win this. Into things are equal again. Foggy has the level advantage. Foggy has the tech advantage. Email fan has the economy advantage. But for how long? For Huntress, he has Dryads, he has Dispel, so the Archmage with the Water Elementals, this will get dispelled. The Warden looking good. Mana Potion, Heal Potion, Clarity. He can do a lot of damage. Still no blink, but damage. Pure damage. Mighty the Mud Golem, the Troll Twins, that's all that Email Fan has. No gold anymore. Kind of knives, not that great here in that uh, specific situation, but Mighty the Mud Golem is gone. No tower up yet, not even the Arcane Tower. And he will go ham with Fan of Knives in the passing line. Here we go. Uh, the tower is gone. Can he hold this somehow? With Militia support? With something? No, oh my god, this fan of knives. It hurts him so bad. And he will get rid of the mercenaries as well. This push was all he needed! Level 5, Shadow Strike! Foggy wins this! This... One move... With... Three Huntress... Blocking... So the peasants can't exit. Killing five peasants. GG. This is Warcraft. Never give up. Never give up. Especially if you're playing Warden. 2 1 Foggy. Of course, Terina Stand is one of the best Night Elf maps. Of course, Terina Stand is one of the best Warden maps. Last Refuge is, still, is the next map, and I'm trying to find out what the fifth map is. <laughs> What's the fifth map, I'm asking, but I don't know. Map is up. Will this be our final map of today? Or will we have a decider on a map that I don't know? Still trying to find that out, but no one is replying to me. Guys, I want to know that. <laughs> Not bright and dark. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't know the vetoes, so I can't tell you. No one answers me, so we have to start this without uh, the knowledge about the fifth map. But yeah. This is Last Refuge. This is where humans tend to shine. And the colors once again changed. So let me adjust this. It's match points! It's match points for the Ukrainian versus the Korean. I think Email Fan has won both finals that he was in. Here we go. Warden or Demon Hunter? I expect a Demon Hunter. Warden is possible though. Maybe even Panda first. We don't know. It's foggy. And he's crazy. But I guess since it's about 100 euros, that's uh, the way to go. So, no shenanigans here. No tavern heroes. No nothing. 
It's the warden. It's the warden again. Three times in a row. Twice it has been the victory for him. But now it's for the tournament. Archmage again. The solution for email fan. For Sock. So mercenary camp creep spot is pretty much a given from the start. And then we see the Magnificence, that is the Warden play, in the hands of a Foggy. Whew! The player's forces are under attack. Getting close to 1,500, getting closer and closer to the decision. Email Fan has to win two maps back to back, Foggy has two match points. And yeah, this is of course the Archmage, Town is Militia achieved. Support. And he's not going for the Merc Camp, he's going for the green one. Playing it safe. Playing the Expo game most likely, again. Players' forces are under attack. This failed heavily on Echo Alts and on Torinas. He always had good early games. But then there was this one move in both games that just broke him. Let's find out what happens here. Second engine of war. Just for creeping or is it Huntress again? I don't see a Huntress hall. But I don't see the tech either. Might be a little fast though. Look quick. And yeah, email fan of course. That's what uh, a lot of Asians do. Except reprisal. Going for the expansion nevertheless. The Warden is here, did skill Shadow Strike, so the Archmage uh, will be the target, I guess. Or is he's going for workers, I don't know. No, he's retreating. So no harass at all, Ring of Protection on top of the Claw. So he decides, alright, you do your expansion thing, I do my level thing, and then we'll see uh, what's better. And of course, these creep spots are big, that he's about to take... Oh my god. Remo would say this is over. And I guess Foggy agrees. Going for boots and staff. Ultimate aggression. And once Email Fan sees this, he will shake his head in disbelief. Can't be it. Can't be that item drop. Every other item drop would have been okay. But Potion of Mana. Warden is level 3. Just imagine the a Fan of Knives. Are under How many he can spread with this. I think it's five. Five fan of knives and he arrives just in time. Arcane Tower just started. This was the first one. And I think this map might be over really, really, really quick. Second worker down, third worker down, fourth worker down. He can spam it all you want. And Tipsy Lich uh, is quicker than Sonic this time. The Warden is trapped there though, but she can't hide, she can't staff out. There is no, pal uh, no, no Mountain King. Um, to disable her. The expansion once again. He won't get that up. He needs some expansion Viagra for the next final against Foggy to help him with that. Okay, the mana is gone, but you see 300 mana. The big potion still there. Will he use it now? Yes, he does! Fan of Knives! Number two, Shadow Strike as well. And it's a level three and a half warden. He needs to get away though. Catches a lot of hits. And a lot of archers here. A player's forces are so he can attack. continue to apply pressure. Yes, full HP, back, full mana, back. And now with five archers, he has to tear it down. He has to tear it down. There's the Huntress Hall hidden. But this goes along with attack. So maybe a few Huntress. Here we go again. <laughs> this is so annoying. You can't just do this over and over. Three workers with one strike.
which, uh, oh, believe, you lag, dude. Das tapfere Schneiderlein, was it's in German, the Oh, the okay, I think they will drop him. <laughs> GG, nice play. See you tomorrow. All right, he concedes, and we have a winner. That winner is Foggy taking home 100 euros. A little anticlimactic, but y'all says it in chat here. Um, big mana potion on a warden with a fast level three. I think it's, I think you can only fuck up. I think if you play this the right way, you don't even have to play this magnificently great or something. If you play one with a big mana potion, good, the game is yours against human. But that's it. If you go for that expansion, you know it. I think a lot of more humans have to adapt to the reprisal way of playing this. But of course, he is, uh, he is outstanding. But Foggy winning his eighth uh, Jera Cup. And it was a fun cup. It was a very, very fun cup. We reached our goal. We got uh, 500 donation in March. This is so crazy. And 1,500 euros here today. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for donating. Thank you for subscribing. Um, in case you bought our merchandise, which you can do like a shirt of, like this, Mighty the Mud Golem at b2wshop.de or b2wshop.com. Um, thank you for all your support. We love doing this. It's so much fun every week. Tomorrow we'll be back. Uh, 12 CET, Korea versus China, the clan war. We have uh, 120, Yumiko, Xiao KK, and Colorful fighting Remind, Focus, Check, and Lucifer. It's gonna be so good. Four times best of three. And if it's two to two, we get an ace match. La Light will cast it in Korean, so you can go over there, twitch.tv uh, slash chonana1, or here at Back to Warcraft. In English, of course. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please leave me feedback at Facebook, Twitter, via mail, um, however you want. And of course, if you want to sign up for the Team Liquid Warcraft 3 Vicky, send me a mail as well. And if you have some social media or management skills, uh, write me as well. We have plenty of stuff to do <laughs> in the future. So, yeah. There's only one thing to do. And uh, back to Warcraft fans know what it is. It is, of course, my goodbye song, which is the Donuts Goodbye Routine. See you tomorrow. See you in 17 hours. Yeah, that's right. 17 hours until the next cast. Bye-bye.